A significant court hearing took place today that could affect the future use of breathalyzers in King County and possibly at the state level. A panel of three judges hearing arguments about why the calculations made by the device do not follow state law. Fox 13's Matt Markovich first broke this news. He was the only reporter in the courtroom and has more on why this is so significant. Matt. Well, David, it could be because it could have an impact on every DUI case going back seven years where blood alcohol levels were measured by the current breathalyzer was used in a DUI conviction. It's still a problem with the software today, right? Yes. It's a key moment involving the future use of breathalyzers. As is the truncating and rounding. That's still a problem with the software today. Yes. George Bianchi, a veteran defense attorney with 37 years specializing in DUI cases, is pressing state trooper Christopher Hooper, who trains troopers how to use the Draeger 9510 breathalyzer used by all law enforcement in the state. And you do the rounding consistent with the WAP, right? I have, yes. And you're told, and you were told and trained that the Draeger did the same calculation, right? I was trained that way, yes. At stake is the use of the breathalyzer by all police in King County, because as Bianchi has argued successfully in other cases, the Draeger's internal calculations don't follow state law, also known as the WAC. The state toxicologists and breath technicians have said for seven years that the Draeger machine needs to do the calculation in conformance with the administrative code provisions. And then I found out that the machine does not do that calculation. Here's the technicality. The Draeger machine takes four samples of a person's breath to determine the blood alcohol level and then creates a median number that's the center point of all those four samples that's multiple decibel points long. But state law says the machine must round out that number to three decibel points up or down. And since the machine doesn't do that, the court found it violated state law and those numbers cannot be used in court. In June, all four Kitsap County District Court judges in an 89-page ruling agreed with Bianchi's argument and ordered breathalyzer results could not be admissible in court in Kitsap County until the software is fixed or the law is changed. There is nothing in the law, there is nothing in the WAC that actually requires the Draeger to do that calculation or any calculation at the time the tests are completed. Today, not one, but three King County District Court judges heard the same argument because the court realizes the countywide significance if breathalyzer results are not allowed. An average 24,700 DUI cases have been filed each year over the last five years in court statewide. And many counties are watching carefully how the King County judges will rule. At anyone who is convicted of a 0.15 or higher alcohol level uh, has the ability to possibly go back and have their conviction overturned for that breath test reading. Because anything over a 0.15 reading, jail time is doubled, license suspension is tripled, and fines are high. So even one one hundredth of a difference at this level can change a person's penalty big time. The state patrol, which supervises the state toxicologist and programs all Draeger breathalyzers used by all law enforcement in the state, has made a decision saying WSP investigated two possible remedies to this issue, a software patch to be in compliance with the WAC or a rules change within the WAC to be aligned with the current calibration method. We have chosen the latter. Now, the State Patrol admitted that there was a software calculation issue more than a year ago, but did not start fixing the situation until recently. The presiding judge in today's hearing did not say when the three panel of judges will issue a ruling. Back to you guys.